Good morning. Welcome to Somewhat Daily Tarot and Rune. It is the 12th of June today. It's a Tuesday. I'm Jan Erickson. I write the blog Stepping Aside. If you want to go over there and look around, it's a fun blog. At least I think so. I write the whole thing, so <laughs> there's nobody else to blame but me. So if you haven't been to this in the past, I usually do this over on YouTube, but lately it's been a little glitchy. So I tried it over here on Facebook, and it's real simple to just download it and upload it there. It takes no time at all. If I, if I actually do this offline and then upload it as is, and I don't do it this way, then uh, it takes hours to upload over there. I, I, don't, I don't know why. It's a, you know They're like 15, 20-minute videos. So I don't know. <laughs> Well, today is a beautiful day on the high desert. I hope it's a beautiful day where you are. My garden is doing pretty well after the last frost we had on the weekend. That was unexpected. We didn't cover. So I had to trim off some things. But everything is still alive, so that's good. All righty, let's count 13. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. For those who haven't been here before, 13 is a, is a prominent number in my life. I was born on October 13th, and uh, 13 has just been present in my life forever. So my, when I do a single card uh, reading, I, I count 13. It's just what I do. Oh, well, okay, so... You know, this is a major card. It's a card for the major arcana. It's the 20th card. It's judgment. Um, more recent uh, tarot creators, we'll call them that, tarot authors, tarot deck authors, um, they've changed this name from judgment to eon. Uh, the druid craft tarot um, calls it rebirth. Um, One of the downsides of the traditional tarot decks is that it's very patriarchal. Uh, it gives God as the father. It gives God as, you know, this all-powerful ruler. Uh, therefore, we have, you know, angels that, you know, seem, you know, like, oh, we're here to judge you or what have you. Um, I don't believe that. So I have a hard time when I see this particular card you know, come up. I don't think of it that way. I think that for me, it's about transition. It's about you've almost completed your journey. You know, there's the universe is the, is the next card and the last card, unless you put the fool at the end. Some, some people look at the fool as just outside of everything. And, and some people, you know, view it other, you know, either as the end or they view it as the beginning of the deck. Um, but, but basically, uh, I mean, I mean, traditionally it can mean like a legal judgment in your favor. So maybe that's going to happen for you today. But, but really what, what to me, this means is a change in consciousness. What you have here is you have, uh, everyone's nude. Everyone, uh, we come into this life nude. We leave this life, you know, basically nude. <laughs> so, uh, it's all about rebirth and, and, and awakening and enlightenment and the realization of, of who we are. You know, it's not about when we, when we see the word judgment, it's, a, it's something that we shouldn't do. We shouldn't judge anybody, right? We shouldn't even judge ourselves. That's, that's not something that we're even here to do. And yet contained within religion and, 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 and all of that is, is the idea of judgment. And I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm just not comfortable with that. To me, this is about living in the present moment. It's about awakening. It's about enlightenment. It's about rebirth into something new. Um, so, and, and the transformation of one's spirit. So that's how I see this. 
so this this could be i mean i mean you've got you know what is this the angel gabriel with his horn um personally i don't view any of them as actual angels <laughs> i think they're just more enlightened you know people that were here at the time but maybe they had wings maybe they didn't i don't know but, you know the universe doesn't all look like us let's face it all right we're not the only people here maybe they have wings wouldn't that be cool Anyway, let's look at the rune and see what it has to say. But I look at this card and I think, ooh, harsh. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I mean, these, all, these people all seem to be welcoming this judgment, you know, this, this, and that, that's the thing that, that, that I guess I'm not comfortable with. Why would you welcome that? I don't, I don't know. So I think I like the fact that other, you know, like Crowley changed it to Eon. Uh, Heindel uses Eon. Uh, like I said, Druidcraft uses Rebirth. So, plus I don't spell judgment that way. I don't use that E. So, <laughs> how's that for being pissy in the morning? <laughs> oh, well. So, Thurizaz. That's the thorn. That's Thor's rune. There is as is catalytic, and it, it it's a weather working type of a uh, uh, it's the third rune of the Elder Fluth arc. It's for weather working. It uh, represents, like I said, Thor's hammer, Molnir. I think we've had this come up once before, uh, but it also means new circumstances, and it also bring it also means bringing things into control. Uh, it could be out of control circumstances that you need to bring back into control. Uh, it catalyzes change. So if we're talking about some some rebirth and and all of that, I got to come over here, don't I? If we're talking about rebirth and enlightenment and all of that, vis-a-vis uh, -vis judgment, which can we just call it the eon? I I just don't like this. Um, then I think that we can see how this relates. Uh, I'm not sure what it is that we're uh, uh, pushing through today, but evidently we're pushing through into some enlightenment so maybe something maybe we've been on the precipice you know maybe we've just been on the edge of something you know uh, a breaking through of a realization of self you know that could be what this is you know we're talking a lot about ascension these days and we're talking about uh this awakening into who we really are we're not these bodies we're actually spirit uh, we're actually the creator manifested into form. Everything you see around you, I believe the creator is all it is. So then everything you see around you is the creator, including yourself. Well, you know, we're just all having this human experience, this physical experience, this tangible experience. So, you know. So it could just simply be maybe we've been having this feeling this restless internal feeling that i'm just about to realize something so something is about to come through you know for us maybe some awareness is about to come through because i don't think it's about i just don't feel like it's a legal judgment okay that that could be what, you know, the traditional meaning of it might be legal judgment. I don't get that. What I feel like, this is more internal. And I feel like the the thurazaz, you know, the weather working is maybe the weather working within. Are we are we keeping our, our own counsel? Are we keeping our own thoughts, you know, focused and centered? Because if you've got judgment, which is awakening and rebirth, and then you've got this, the catalyzation of something. So it's got to be, it's got to be that. So let's count 13 more cards and see what we have. And see if this tells us what's going to break through today. If it's something that's an inner working or if it's something external that's coming. Well, okay, so this tells me that this is inner. This is the Seven of Cups, okay? And as you can see here, um, this is typically your mind is in the clouds, your head is in the clouds, you're dreaming, you're, you're not really 
you know, staying in reality. But, you know, that's, that's traditional stuff. Personally, I think this just means options. You've got an awful lot of options available to you right now. Um, and so, you know, emotionally, you know, maybe your emotions are a little scattered looking at different things. So you need to bring them back into control. You know, that's where Thurizaz can help. Thurizaz can, 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 can help to bring all of that back into control. Someday it'll it'll also help me to teach me how to turn these things so that you can see it. It's that it's that opposite. It's like the mirror effect or something. There, I have to like like twist my arm around so it's right. <laughs> Crazy. In any event, I'm not sure what I did with that other card. Well, I don't know what I did with it. Did I set it down in a weird spot? Did I did I did I go and put it back into the deck? Well, anyway, we know it's judgment. <laughs> and I went and I went and I I uh, shuffled the deck. I'll bet you that's what I did. Well, it's going to be a scattered day for me. I see. Either that or I've stuck it somewhere. In any event, uh, the thing that I find interesting about the Seven of Cups here, and that's why I think that it's, you know, they call it delusion, uh, temporary success, uh, seduction, uh, dreams, visions, overactive imagination. I'm just not sure what you could do to... When you're imagining your future, I mean, how can you how can you do that? How can you there it is? How can you overdo that? When you're trying to come up with something new, if this is in truth, if this is in truth, something new is on the horizon that you've achieved what you've wanted to achieve, and now you're moving into something else. Then, then basically, why would you want to you know restrict yourself in terms of what it is that you want to do? So. So if it's something like that, you know, maybe we're pushing through to something entirely new in our lives. Um, Thurizaz is a really powerful rune. Uh, I mean, we see it, you know, when we see in the movie Thor swinging around his hammer, you know, that's, that's a tremendous amount of power. We have a lot of power within to break through into new ideas, into new options, into new projects, into new ways of thinking. And if we're talking about ascension, then what we're talking about is a new way of seeing the self. So it looks like somebody is saying I'm pregnant. Well, I'm not. I'm too old for that. Sorry. She must be pregnant or she'd like to know if she is. So I have no idea. Let's take a look and see what the card says. Maybe we'll pull a rune. We get Birkino or Ingwas or something, then maybe, maybe. So I don't know if she's asking if she is. You can take a test and find that out, you know. If you want to find out from the cards, though, maybe you're too maybe it's too soon to know from a test. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do the 13. I was just going to open it up and see, but I think that, uh, let's do 13, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. Well, this is the King of Wands, so I don't know. I don't think this is a card that's telling you that you're pregnant. And the rune, let's see if it has anything to say. Urus, what are you manifesting? Maybe a child. Hmm? Maybe. Maybe that's your focus. This is the forming force. Actually, it's the force behind the forming of. So, so maybe it's your intention. I don't know. Good luck with it, though. If you're happy about it, if you're not, either way. 
life changes, aren't they? But back to the whole thing about ascension. When we talk about that, we've been talking a lot about with the cards and the runes this, the past couple of weeks that we've been doing this. It all seems to be an inner focus, doesn't it? And you can look at all of this externally, but, but ideally all there is is you, all right? You and the focus that you have. Um, and the focus that you have reflects the world that you see. So if we're going to see the world in a harsh way, which trust me, it's easy to do, um, but we're not aligning in our own source presence. We decide. If we see the world as a harsh place, then we're letting that be, we're letting that, we're letting, we're letting the harshness of the world define that for us. It's not, it can be any way you want to see it. The world is not harsh or good or anything in between. It just is. And, and it's very hard when there's a lot of unrest, there's a lot of uncertainty. We don't always know what's coming. And, um, but the idea is, are we going to sit and wait for what's coming or are we going to go out and make something happen? And I think that when you realize that you are in fact source energy, you realize you can make anything happen. So um, I think for the day, for today, we can think about the catalytic force within to make things happen. Uh, are we going to bring ourselves into alignment with our source presence? Are we going to awaken into who we are and then make that the foundation of the choices that we make and the world that we make around us? Are we going to do that today? We should. Um, makes things a lot easier than, you know, feeling all gloomy about things. So today, instead of thinking in terms of judging others or judging oneself, think in terms of aligning with who you really are and forget about the whole judgment. We're here to have an experience a collection of experiences. They're neither good or they're neither good or bad. You know, we judge it and that's when it becomes good or bad. Why not just let things be and reap the benefit of the enlightenment you can get from just observing instead of getting involved. So um, think about that. Uh, think about how you manifest your catalytic power within. Uh, what that looks like when you manifest it without, and uh, see how it goes. And uh, stay out of judgment. Think about rebirth. <laughs> Instead, think about awakening. And thanks for watching, and have a lovely day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Blessed be.